Hi everyone, I'm Sean, Captain of Team Thagomizer, and today I want to go over what exactly this new design was all about. The Thagomizer concept started with a simple idea, a spinner that could attack the size of its opponents, centered around driving rather than poor power. So what is the Thagomizer? Well, a hint comes from its name. First coined by its far side cartoon, it's the term for the spiked end of Stegosaurus's head. Like its inspiration, Thagomizer is a robot designed to whip around and attack the sides of its opponents. Why the strategy works, and the physics that lets this all happen, will be the focus of this video. But first, some basics. What's immediately noticeable about Thagomizer is its length. Traditional horizontal spinners usually try to be compact, being as small as the large blades will allow. Being compact is usually an advantage, as small bots can put more armor over less space. In contrast, Thagomizer is much larger, as it relies on its long tail to reach the sides of opponents. However, while large robots tend to be clumsy, this design is much nimbler than its length would suggest. The center of mass plays a large part in robot maneuverability, as it affects both the angular inertia of the robot and the amount of traction that the wheels get. A robot will try to turn on the point in the center of its wheels. The further the center of the mass is from the center of rotation, the more angular inertia a robot has to overcome, and the harder it is to turn. An easy solution would be to simply move the wheels to the center of mass. However, this would neutralize Thagomizer's reach. The distance from the wheels to the front of robot, A, needs to be shorter than the distance from the wheels to the weapon, B. The difference between these lengths is the reach that the robot has to get to the size of its opponent. So if we can't move the wheels back, we have to move the center of mass forwards. We can do this through a heavy counterbalance. By mounting a thick wedge and moving all the electronics as far up as possible, we are able to get the center of mass as close to the wheels as possible. This gets us to the basic Thagomizer, a horizontal thwack spinner with a weapon on one end and a wedge on the other. So what makes this Stegosaurus so good for robot combat? Well that comes down to the three key advantages that drive Thagomizer's success. Side attacks are the best attacks, always have a counter, and maximize bite, closing velocity, and weapon RPM. The first idea is the obvious one. Robots tend to have their strongest armor at the front, so why not hit them on their sides instead? Thagomizer can control its opponent with the armored head and use the long tail to swing around and attack the sides of the opponent. This allows for more tactical driving style as the robot can switch between offense and defense at will. The long tail also allows the weapon to strike at the edges of most horizontal wedges, perfect for ripping them off. Secondly, Thagomizer is designed to have a counter to any barred faces. The rock, paper, scissors nature of the sport is no big secret, and after doing some research, we found that the best way to take advantage of this is to have modular overlapping counters. What this means is that each end of the robot can counter what counters the other end of the robot. Now that's mildly confusing, so here's an example. So our default weapon is an undercutter, and the best counter to an undercutter is a wedge. Since the best counter to a wedge is forks, we'll run those in the front. However, now our opponent has a problem, because beating forks usually require longer forks, which would simply be destroyed by our undercutter. Anyone facing this combo has to choose between defending against our spinner and winning the ground game. And no matter what they choose, we can approach with the end of the robot that forms the best counter. These overlapping defenses means that Thagomize is never at a design disadvantage. The third principle is all about maximizing the physics that allows us to hit hard. While there's a lot of variables and trade-offs, we'll focus on the ones that are complemented by Thagomizer's unique attack style, RPM, Bite, and Closing Velocity. RPM, or revolutions per minute, is how fast the weapon is spinning. A faster weapon has more kinetic energy, and a weapon spinning twice as fast has four times the kinetic energy. However, increasing your RPM decreases your bite, which is the average chunk of your opponent that is actually hit by a spinner. The more bite, the more energy is transferred from your weapon into your opponent. For example, the only difference between these hits is how much bite the weapon got. And as you can see, it makes a huge difference. In summary, bite decreases with a higher RPM and increases with a higher closing velocity. Closing velocity, or how fast the opponent enters the spinner, is Thagomizer's secret weapon. Most spinners rely on ramming their opponent at speed to get high enough closing velocity for a good bite which works great when everything aligns, but results in grinding if not fast enough. Because getting a good run-up can be very difficult against a moving opponent, average closing velocity tends to be low, 
and as a result some teams such as Bite Force purposely spin their weapons slower, sacrificing energy to get more consistent hits. However, it's this closing velocity that Thagomizer excels in. The spin attack creates its own high closing velocity. For example, here it took less than 0.7 seconds for Minimizer to complete this attack, which translates to a final closing velocity of 11 miles an hour. And while that may not be fast for a car, it's about as fast as most 12 pound bots top speed. Now comes the crazy part. In our research, we found that most robots rarely reach more than a quarter of their top speed in their attacks. So we're actually able to get roughly four times the closing velocity per attack. Since this closing velocity is directly linked to bite, it also means we get four times the bite. Well, now we have too much bite, however, we already know how bite and RPM are related. So, what does this mean? With the same amount of bite as our opponents, we are able to spin our weapon 4 times as fast and get 16 times the energy out of our weapon. While air resistance and the rulebook keep us from spinning massive weapons at hypersonic speeds, it does mean that we can use much lighter and smaller weapons while still punching high bar weight class. Taking this relationship between closing velocity and weapon kinetic energy to the extreme is what Thagomize is all about. So that was a quick overview of what makes Thagomizer a bit different from other robots. But if you found it interesting, be sure to subscribe, I'll be releasing more videos soon, including fight recaps and deep dives into the build. Until then, this was Team Thagomizer, and I'll see you later.